today is weigh-in. It's Saturday. Uh, I lost one and a half pounds. Um, can't argue with that. Um, I've not really eaten much this week, so I was quite surprised to lose. Um, usually, when I don't eat enough, I usually put on. So, but you know, I'm not going to argue with that. I'll take a one and a half loss. Um, but straight back on it. I'm just going to do uh, my dinner now. So it's today is chicken katsu. So here it is, the recipe card. So what we got here, so we got uh, one shallot, um, one free range egg, soy sauce, mango chutney, carrot, uh, panko breadcrumbs, um, two chicken fillets, uh, rice vinegar, uh, curry powder. I'm not using salad. I don't think a salad goes with a curry, so I will not be using that. Um, uh, root ginger and some brown rice and you do have to add in a bit of flour, uh, olive oil, pepper, salt, vegetable oil. Um, well, you don't have to, it's optional, uh, but you are going to need the flour for this recipe. Um, here's the nutritional information down the bottom, so 524 calories, which is not bad. But that's only for the ingredients that is supplied. So here is the ingredients. So we got the mango, we got one carrot, soy sauce there, ginger, shallot, rice vinegar, curry powder, brown rice, panko breadcrumbs, and we have the chicken. I always put it in a, uh, a tub when I put stuff in the fridge, and we have one egg there. So I have a plate. Uh, and two bowls. Uh, this is going to be for the egg, um, this is going to be for the brick worms, and this is going to be for the flour, and this is uh, for when we coat the chicken. So it should come out like that, but with me doing it, it probably won't. So let's flip over to the back and take a look at the steps. The steps look quite easy, so it's the same as the other day, what I did with the stir fry, it's the same method for the rice and then I don't need to um, peel half the carrot and put it into ribbons because I'm not having the salad but I am I am going to peel it and then grate it to put it in because I think you're using that for the sauce peel scrape with the skin finely chop grate the ginger peel chop the shallot and then yeah, you need three bowls here. So you crack one egg into a shallow bowl. Then add two tablespoon of flour if you're doing it for two people, or you need four tablespoons if you're doing it for four people. Yep, yeah, that's right. It's got red in brackets. Um, so a plate, season with salt, pepper, then add the breadcrumbs to another plate. Coat the chicken breast in the flour, uh, then add it to the egg, and then finally press it into the breadcrumbs. So this uh, it's going to be quite easy. I've not done this recipe before. I have had this curry before. The chef at work, Dazza, he makes a mean katsu curry. I love it. So um, to actually do it myself, I'm looking forward to this. Heat a large um, pan, two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil over medium heat. Once hot, add the grated carrot, the ginger, the shallot, cook for three minutes. Add the curry powder for a further two. One tablespoon of flour, cook for one minute, stir and coat the vegetable evenly. Then you add the 300 ml of water. So yeah, this is us making the sauce. The mango chutney is uh, two sins for this pot. Um, I will show you in the front. I did write it all out. So yeah, it looks fairly easy. Not complicated at all. Um, so for the mango, it's two sins for the pot. I did write three tablespoons of flour. It's going to be six sins. It's two sins a tablespoon. And a splash of oil. I'm not sinning a splash of oil. So I'm not doing it like that. It's Splash of oil is a splash of oil. I know it's going to be less than six sins, so. But it's Saturday, so I'm not sinning it. 
So let's make a start. First things first is going to be the rice. So I'm going to add it into a sieve because we're going to rinse it. But the thing is, I don't need all the rice. It's just me. Uh, I offered my mate to come round to have this. He ain't got back to me. So I'm, I ain't doing it for him as well. So I think that'd be enough for us for me. So let's pop over to the sink and rinse it out. So I'm giving it a good old wash. I've never had brown rice before, so I'm not quite sure what it's like. Hopefully it's nice. Uh, so let's pop this into the pan. So next up is the carrot. So I always like to peel carrot. Just quickly give it a quick peel. There we go. That'll do. Get rid of the spinach. Don't need that. And uh, all I've got to do is grate it. Easy peasy. So I'm going to peel uh, the ginger. I know some people they don't peel their ginger, they just grate it, but. I think I've got a, uh, I think I got a great it. Yeah, finely chopped or great ginger. I'd rather great it. I find it easier. It's one less job for me. Um, I need to get a proper grater though for the ginger. I'm using like a cheese grater, and that's not the one I want to use. It's you know the one that you hold in your hand. That's the one I want to get. And then next we are going to be doing a shallot. So. Peel and chop the shallot, so that's what I'm going to do. So, we're just going to do that bit. I mean, I don't really use shallots, so so the rice is bubbling along nicely. I'm going to turn that down to a one, I'm going to just simmer that for around 20 minutes. I usually do my rice in the in the ninja, but I thought, as you know, I'm doing these meals. Let's just do it, you know, on the hob, like it's saying. I know the ninja does it, you know, easier for me, you know, quicker and stuff like that. But there we go. That's the shallow done. Let's get rid of the rubbish and we start to chop. My apologies, I thought we I thought we was on recording and we wasn't. I do that a lot. Anyway, the shallot is now done. So step three is gonna be the plates now with the egg, the flour and the breadcrumbs. In the box, ain't it? Stops it from getting damaged. There we go. Look. Very nice. I say very nice. Perfect. Nice recyclable box. So we're just going to crack that into a bowl. Right here. And then we we got to beat it up. Since you use a fork, but I'm going to use a spoon. You know, it's only two chicken breasts that we're doing, so yeah, this should be plenty. If it's not, I've got plenty of eggs in the cupboard anyway, so breadcrumbs are is going to be next. I'm going to try and see if I can buy some of these breadcrumbs because we use these at work and uh, got mixed. They are nice. So these are um, the panko breadcrumbs. They don't want to open for me, so I'll just cut it open like that. There we go. It's just, I think that's plenty. Nah, that is four and a half sins for 30 grams. Next, it is the flour, which I need to get my measuring spoon for that. Two tablespoonage. Measuring spoon. Obviously, when we're at work, we don't measure. It. We don't need to measure it out really, really. But I need to. So that's one. That's two. That's 
two. Should be enough. There we go. Perfect. So next step is we're gonna coat the chicken. We're up. not gonna coat the chicken because I forgot we need to grate the carrot and the ginger. I don't like using this one. I need to get another one. So this basically oh I didn't chop the end off. I always chop the end off the carrot. I don't like the ends. It's gonna take ages to break this. Let's do it. I know you can't really see much. Of the idea. There we go, carrot is grated. There's quite a lot of carrot there. Let's get that out. Yeah, it's a bit of carrot. I ain't going to take the carrot out and then transfer it somewhere else. I'm just literally going to do the ginger as well. Just. It's all going in together anyway, so. What's the point? You might as well just grate it all together, isn't it? I won't use the rest of that. There we go, ginger is done. And I might as well stick the shallot in there as well, all together. So let's make a start on the chicken. get a plate for the, the chicken once it's coated. Oh, Jesus, chicken eh? So we are going for the flour first. Flour, egg, breadcrumb. Let's just move, there's a bit of carrot there. So you know it's quite a fair sized chicken there. So we're going for flour. So it's nice and coated as you see. Let's shake off. Let's do the other side again. But obviously flour is coming off with me touching it. Sorry you can't even see can you? Right you see now there we go let's move the egg over here too so let's make some room for this so it's dipped in the flour as you can see yeah and now we're going to dip it in the egg so it's all nicely coated in the egg and then we're going to coat in the breadcrumbs so here we push down, that's what they say, push down, and turn it over, there we go, that's one, let's go for number two, so we're going to dip it in the flour, children outside playing I think so then we're going to dip in the egg and 
then into the breadcrumbs. Push down. Just about enough, you know. Breadcrumbage. More than enough. Look how much breadcrumbs is left. Right, so now I'm gonna stick that away for the moment because the next bit is we're gonna start the sauce now. Step five. So step five, we're gonna heat a large wide base pan, non-stick, with two to three tablespoons of vegetable oil, but I'm using sunflower over a medium heat. So let's wait that to number two for medium heat. And let's add in the oil. And then we'll add the grated carrot, ginger, shallot, cook for three minutes. This pan is a nasty pan. It was a good pan, but over the years, it's got destroyed. Uh, that do. So you want to cover all of it. Let that get hot. Once that's hot, we'll add in the, the carrot, ginger and shallot. And then it's going to be the powder and then one tablespoon of flour. Cook for one minute. Wow, I've got this. So the pan is now hot enough. Yeah, definitely hot enough when it makes that sound. So we're just going to cook, uh, basically you just heat this for three minutes. So it's been three minutes, so now I'm going to be adding in the curry powder, okay? I'm not quite sure. Apparently this is one tablespoon of curry powder, but to me it looks like a lot more than one tablespoon. I'm not sure if it's medium or hot, doesn't say. So we're just going to add that in. And um, so we're going to cook this for two minutes. So that has been two minutes. I'm now going to add one tablespoon of flour. And we're going to cook that for one minute, stirring to coat the vegetables evenly. There we go. Now we're going to add 300 millilitres of boiling water. Um, obviously I can't show you the water, but I'm sure you know what boiling water looks like. Um, so we're going to add that and then we're going to reduce the heat. Reduce it down to one, the lowest heat. And then we're going to add the soy sauce. Stir it through with the mango chutney. And we're going to cook this for five to seven minutes until the sauce is thickened. So let's just add one sachet of the soy sauce and the one pot of the mango chutney, 20 grammage. Let's just get a spoon to scoop this out. There we go. Now let's give that a stir and we're going to cook this for about five to six minutes on this heat. It's on low so it's a lot of sauce here isn't it? So this is serving two remember. Five to six minutes. So I'm just going to season with a bit of, uh, well it says here to use a generous pinch of salt, cover and set aside. Oh, I can't cover because this doesn't have a lid. So I'm going to, it says be generous, so I forgot to uh, season the breadcrumbs with salt and pepper, but never mind. So this is uh, done, so I'm going to set this to one side, okay? I'm going to put uh, like a tea towel over the top. 
just to cover it up. Um, so now we're going on to step seven. So we're nearly there. So the next step is we're going to heat what well, says here separate pan, uh, a large wide one, just to cover. Just to cover the base of the uh, oil. Once hot, we'll add the coated chicken and we're going to cook them six to seven minutes on each side, pressing down firmly. So just let get that. To so the rice is done. Okay, so I'm just going to layer the chicken into the pan and we're going to cook. I can't get, I can't get a grip. I know why, it's not on a medium heat, it was on a low one. I forgot to turn the heat back up, but never mind. So guys, um, it's now done. I'm gonna cut the chicken now. Bear with me. I am rushing this video now because the football is coming on. Uh, FA Cup. This is still very hot. Um, let me uh, just get a fork. Just to hold. There we go. Let's fill up the bowl now with the rice and the sauce. So I'm having it in a bowl. So we're gonna go with rice. And then we're gonna go curry sauce. And there we have katsu chicken. First time making it, so uh, that is how you do it the gusto way. So guys, that is today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll catch you tomorrow for my last gusto uh, recipe. Uh, but I do have a new box coming on Monday with some more recipes. So tune in tomorrow. Bye.